everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Shell Shock Live. And in today's episode, I decided I'm going to go ahead and play a bunch of single player matches on The Sacrifice. A crazy map where pretty much it has a random chance to spawn somebody in the middle. It could be me, could be them, or in some rounds, it might be nobody. Oh, wait, is the ringer? Will this shoot? Oh, well, he completely missed anyway. I was going to say, will that shoot through the bat? What is with me getting the barrier both times in a row? Okay, well, welcome back, everybody. And remember to click that like button if you all enjoyed. Now, yesterday, I did present a question to you all, which most people did respond to, was whether or not I should start doing some live streams on Shellshock. And overwhelmingly, a lot of people said yes, as long as I upload them after the fact. And I was like, that's pretty fair. So I might start... Oh, that was a horrible tarantula. Well, I went for the two times damage, and I failed miserably. But anyway, guys, I decided that I'm going to start doing some live streams periodically. I, I don't know how often I'll do them. I might do one later today. I might do one tomorrow. I, I don't know yet, but but yeah, I'm probably going to start doing some live streams of some Cell Shock Live. So that way you guys can join me while I play it live. And uh, I don't know. I figured it'll be a fun little thing for us to do. And oh, is that a sniper? That's definitely a sniper. <gasps> Woo! He almost hit me there. He almost hit me there. All right, well, now at least I can shoot this guy from up close. Here we go. Bow and arrow, straight in the face. Probably not going to do that much damage from this close. Oh, okay, 66 damage is a lot of damage up close. That's good. And we have a sniper of our own as well. After I land this next sniper, I'm probably going to move because, well, we're just as susceptible to get shot as they are at this range. And, oh my gosh, yes, he just did 60 damage right back to me. Well, I'm going to shoot 51 damage right back at you. Huh? How do you like it? He did, probably doesn't like it very much. <laughs> no, but I'm going to go ahead and try and hide right over to here. This map overall, though, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is a pretty insane-o map. It, you unlock it pretty early on, but, you know, I still like it anyway. What do we got here? One Sprouter and one Scavenger. What the heck are these attacks? Okay, I know Sprouter. What Scavengers? Oh my god, it's the upgrade of Travelers. Why or how? This actually exists? I, I've never, I don't have Travelers unlocked from a shop. I've just seen people use it. And I know how powerful it is, but I can't even imagine what the upgrade must be like. Here we go. Scavengers. Oh my gosh! 95 damage? Okay. Great. What the heck is going on? That attack is ridiculously overpowered. And wow, this actually hiding spot right here is working perfectly. All right, let's try to use Sprouter on this guy now. There we go. Good old Sprouter. Sprouter's a very good attack if there's a few of them all in an area. I mean, you can easily do against four people like 100 damage. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, okay, so that was good. Uh, I guess I could probably use the spiders in this guy. I might be able to take this guy out in the next turn, which would be absolutely epic. A good old win for us. We'll have about 100 HP left over. Uh, all right, let's see. What you gonna do, Mr. Leon? I think he's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna probably try and do something crazy. Let's see. What do you want? He's gonna he's gonna He's waiting. He's planning his attack. Well, to be fair, he did miss the last couple of them, so I don't really blame him for trying to plan ahead here. Oh, what is that? Bounder? Yeah, alright. He went for the bounder and he got it. Now I gotta rearrange where I am a little bit here, so let's go right there. Oh! Well, this is gonna be interesting, because he's technically covered a little bit let's try i'm gonna try to use dark shadow here because i don't even know if i can hit him i mean this okay apparently that will still hit him even though he was partially in the sacrifice zone so it looks like that was a big win for round number one we're gonna be right back with a brand new opponent same map same thing let's see if we can win again and hopefully not be the sacrifice i don't, don't want to be a sacrifice ever it's not a good position to be in. All right, so we're loading into round two. Brand new opponent, and it looks like this time nobody was the sacrifice. That's fine, though. It'll be a fun little even matchup then where both of us are, I, I guess, relatively speaking, on the same playing field here. It's like an open field. It's very... Very plain. It's a, nice, it's a nice little thing, I guess. It's kind of like playing on either uh, The Divide, which is, you know, one of my favorite maps, or Lowlands. And, you know, it's basically just a basic 1v1 situation. And, oh, my webcam is actually covering my entire body. That is me. Hello. I'm that guy. I'm the guy right there. Kind of just, you know, chilling out. Oh, jeez. Mini V, Mini V, Mini V, please. Ah, okay. Only one of them hit us. That could have been a lot worse. All right, so let's go from here now, and I guess, let's see, do I have any, like, spider, or I have tarantula. All right, this time, tarantula will hit. There we go. That's definitely close enough. What the heck? The tarantula just went right through him. Like, one of the main beams, literally. But, do I? Okay, I mean, I, I'm sure I could have shot it a little closer, but I think a little more than 20 damage was in order for that. Oh, jeez. 
No. Two times damage carpet bot. Although I am far enough away that might... Yeah, I was going to say that might all miss. Oh, the teleporter disappeared. I so wanted to find out what would happen if I used the teleporter there. Uh, all right. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a dead riser strike on him. There we go. Underground. Boom. Oh, and a 61 crit for a dead riser. That's a... That, that's perfect. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get my hands on. Good dead riser for sure. Um... What do I want to do here? Uh, oh gosh, what is that? Is that bananas? Is that bananas? Oh, he missed the banana split! Alright, we're doing well. We are doing well, my friends. Let's shoot this up a bunch. There we go. Oh, not enough though! That was still a bunch up. Oh my gosh, he's got a two times damage there. Also, I just realized my game screen is a little bit out of whack here. So I'm going to go ahead and rearrange that a tiny bit for you all. That way you can actually see everything you weren't really having that much cut off but it definitely looked a little weird i just noticed uh okay oh, there's a thing way down there but there's no way i can get there without you know becoming the sacrifice i don't want that to happen uh, all right let's try and shoot this up a bunch yeah there we go direct hit with the cats and we got a brand new gear oh he moved back up again now i gotta move it up like four more if i want to try and hit this shot uh oh, mega builder would be nice Mega Builder would be extremely nice if I can nail that, but that's, it's gonna be tough. We're gonna go for it, obviously. I mean, let me see one. I, I'm gonna go like four ticks up, honestly, on this. All fleets! Wow! Excellent fleet attack there. All right, there we go. That's, oh my gosh. That, like, couldn't have been closer. Okay, good. It still hit him anyway. I was gonna say, I'm like, that really couldn't have been closer. But what a bad situation we just put ourselves in. Like, what an actually awful situation. Um, I could probably tunnel... Okay, he went on the other side. Wait, no, he's still using the cover. That's smart. Oh, he's not using the cover. Good. That's good for us. Let's use Digger. Oh, no, Shrapnel, Shrapnel, come on. Bounce downward. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here with your Shrapnel bits. I don't want any part of that Shrapnel. Get out of here. All right, and let's see if I can... I think, like, right there will probably... Be perfect! There we go! Do a lot of damage and level him downward. Oh my gosh. He can't have much health left at all. He's gotta be low on health. He's gotta be extremely low on health right now. And we do have heavy napalm left, so I could probably use that to go. Oh, actually, Rainbow might be the smarter move here. I think Rainbow will, because he's gonna die anyway. Oh my gosh, if he doesn't kill himself. Oh my gosh. Literally, he almost killed himself there. Alright, let's try and use Rainbow. Cross the sky, there we go. Essentially guaranteeing yourself the kill. So that was round two, everybody. Keep clicking that like button, and we'll be right back with round numero tres. All right, so we're heading into another round here against the Cyber Potato, and it looks like he is the sacrifice. We've been getting extremely lucky in the fact that we've not been the sacrifice like once, so I'm very happy about this. He goes, good luck. Oh, good luck, my friend. There you go. A good old good luck to you too, sir. Uh, now, we could use Driller right on this guy downward. Oh, before we do that, I'm going to try to do a Napalm. Now, Napalm is very good if you can shoot the ground that someone's on. The problem is he's kind of like half on the ground, half not. So, I'm a little concerned, I guess. But I think we should be able to still maybe drop something in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can't do this. Ah, uh, okay. A few of them hit. 40 damage is still good. It's not bad by any means. And now I could probably drop a Tadpoles right in there on him. Or, you know what the problem with Tadpoles is, though? He's probably just going to fall off. <laughs> Even though he's a sacrifice, I feel like he's in a better position than I am right now. Oh, no. Area attack. Ah, oh, please miss most of them. Please miss most of them. Okay, good. He only hit one of them. That was very lucky for us. All right, let's move a little closer then. And the reason why I want to move closer is I want to shoot all these, like, right there. There we go. Oh, my gosh. 40 damage. And they're still going. Okay, that was not the best of attacks. 45 damage is not awful, though, so I'll take that. I'll take that any day. I could probably shoot a lightning in there, but I might want to use fountains next. I feel like fountains would guarantee me a hit on him, so it's kind of... It's good. It's good. But, oh, man, that cover he has there. And big swing and a miss for this guy with the quicksand. It's good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll drop fountains. There we go. What? Why? How did that even miss? Well, I'm definitely a little bit confused here. 
Let's do lightning. Oh, he bulgered up. He bulgered up on me. All right, let's see if we can't bring that straight through him. I could... Honestly, that might be a straight enough shot. I could probably M4 him from there. I can M4 him from there straight down. There we go. Take guaranteed 48 damage. Um, okay, now we'll do a... Oh, we could just Uzi him next. There we go. I mean, while I have the straight shot, I might... Why would you hurt a potato? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Potato. Oh, it's so sad. Poor Mr. Potato. Didn't even stand a chance. Oh, God, he's mega diggering us. Oh! Well, it looks like we lucked out big time a Rooney there. He completely just shot it down, but we are kind of stuck in a pit with him now. Uh, okay, well, this changes everything, unfortunately. Let's see if we can't use a driller on this guy. Right there would probably be right on the mark. There it is. Perfect. And we just opened him up to a lot of attacks now. Okay, perfect. You wanna, you wanna, you can hide in that little bucket there. It's not gonna help. Oh, we have a direct shot on him. I could just use chunklets to do 45. Oh no. Oh no, please miss like one or two of them. Miss like one or two of them. Miss like one or two of them, please. Give me a break here. No, no break was given that day. No break at all. Here we go though. Chunklets. Boom for 45. And uh oh. And the ground quaked that day. Okay. He's moving up very close to me. I wonder if I can shank him. Do you think I can shank him from this distance? Now I probably can. Let's give it a try and see if we can't shake. Yes, we can shank him from that distance. And that, my friends, is probably going to do it here. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep clicking that like button if you enjoyed and you want to see more. And you're excited for me to stream this in the near future. Apart from that, take care, my friends. Peace out. Have an awesome day.